Joining us with more reaction, Senator Lindsey Graham. Senator, I, I happen to be privy to a conversation that you had with President Trump, and um, you were very passionately um, talking to the president at the time about the need to keep minimal forces and how this, how to properly right. withdraw and <clears throat> keep prevent things like this from happening and keep the gains that were made in place. You successfully came to an agreement. Right. This is not what Donald Trump handed. Joe Biden is blaming Donald Trump. This is not the plan you and Donald Trump agreed to. Now, this is all on President Biden. He's done two very, he took the most dangerous and dishonorable path available. He ignored sound military advice. Uh, there is no plan to get U.S. citizens outside of Kabul into Kabul. And once they get to Kabul, there's no plan to make the Taliban to let them through. But here's what I take today from the news conference, that we've just issued a death sentence to all those who fought with us in Afghanistan. It is clear to me they're resetting the table here and they're trying to move the ball and say, we're gonna focus on American citizens and we're gonna leave behind the thousands of Afghans who honorably fought along our side. That's what they're saying today. So two things have happened here. One, the chance of another 9-11 is tenfold because of the way Biden has handled this. And the chance of other people helping us in the future after this debacle is almost zero. So Joe Biden and apparently our generals and our secretary of defense are willing to sacrifice all those who helped us because they don't have the will or the determination to get them out. Senator, I want, I want to ask you this, because we have untold thousands of Americans now behind enemy lines. And yes, those that assisted America, yes. those interpreters, those people that we promised, yeah. God forbid it ever comes to this, we will protect you. They're not being protected. Yeah. But I yeah. don't see any military option because every American then right. would become a human shield. And I don't even want to describe what we both know would happen. There's no military well, option, option, Senator. You need we're, to, we're, we're at the mercy of the Taliban well, now. Here, well, 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 change it. You don't have to be at the mercy of the Taliban. My God, you don't think we can beat these guys if we want to? Here's what I would do if I were president of the United States. I would tell the Pentagon to give me a safe corridor passage plan for every corner of Afghanistan. I would tell the Taliban... We're bringing every American home. They're coming from every corner of Afghanistan. If you get in the way, that will be a hostile act against the United States, and we will use military force. I will tell them the same about the interpreters and all those who helped us. We don't have to accept this. All right, Senator Lindsey Graham, we appreciate you being with us. We're praying for our fellow Americans. When we come back, the great one, Mark Levin, has some very strong words for Joe Biden, his disastrous plan. Americans now behind enemy lines. How do we get them out? How do we bring them home? Straight ahead.